That's the point of the heretic in society, is to offer an alternative view. Absolutely. Like Graham mentioned earlier, there's kind of a... It went from a religious motive, I think, in the 19th century, and now it's more a political motive. And again, the idea that every day you'll find something, you know, coming from various factions, that oh, we're destroying the earth, and the earth has never suffered this kind of assault on it before, and and you know we're causing the sixth great mass extinction, and we're going to cause catastrophic global warming if we pump another 50 or 100 parts per million of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. And what that has done is, like many, I won't say many, but several of the scientists now that have been in the forefront of criticizing the Younger Dryas impact hypothesis are also very much involved in the global warming movement and the idea that we are now precipitating the sixth great mass extinction. Having looked now at, at mass extinctions and been a, a, really an obsession of mine for about 30 years now, I've looked at everything from the Cretaceous tertiary to the Permian Triassic, right on down the line to the most recent one, which to me is really in some ways the most interesting because the most recent mass extinction that we're talking about is the one that took place while we humans were were part of the of the story